Hi, I'm Danksy, and my question to you is, to which subphylum does the whole shoe crap belong? If you read the title, you might already be suspicious. And if you said crustacean, you're actually wrong. They're more closely related to spiders than to crabs, and I will tell you why. Horseshoe crabs belong to the subphylum Chelicerata, the same group as spiders, scorpion, ticks and sea spiders. Let's first look at the basic body plan of Chelicerata, so we can compare it later to crustaceans. In Chelicerata, the body is typically divided into two main sections, or tagmata, as you say in anthropods. The two parts are the prosoma, the front part, and the ophistosoma, the rear part. In some Chelicerata's, like mites, this division is no longer clearly visible, but the rule is one front part and one rear part. Now, let's look at the appendages on the prosoma, moving from the front to the back. Most importantly, the group defining feature, a pair of chelicerae. These are the jaws, as you could say, located in the front of the mouth. Depending on the species, they may look like fangs or pincers. In most spiders, the chelicerae even house venom glands, for example, you can clearly see the chelicerae in a tarantula. Next in line are the pedipalps, typically made out of six segments. Their function varies. In scorpions, they have evolved into pincers. In spiders, they look like boxing gloves, as I say, but they serve as sensory and reproductive organs. And then, after chelicerae and a pair of pedipalps, then come the four pairs of walking legs, which complete the prosoma. As for the opistosoma, the rear part, it typically has no real walking legs and forms one continuous segment, but there are always exceptions. For example, in the scorpion, the opistosoma is divided into two regions, the mesosoma, the broad middle part, as you could say, and the metasoma, the tail in brackets. So to summarize the chelicerator structure, at the very front, with the color yellow in the sketch, we have the Archon, which is a sort of pre-developed segment, but it doesn't really count as a real segment. And there are also the eyes, depicted as blue in the sketch. And then come the seven segments, making up the prosoma. Segment 1 is lost during development. The segment 2 bears the chelicerae. Segment 3 has the pedipalps. And the segments 4 to 7 carry the four pairs of walking legs. So now we can compare that to the crustaceans. In crustaceans, the front body part is called cephalon, which is sometimes fused with the thorax to form a cephalophorax. So in real crabs, you have that cephalophorax, often with a carapace shell on top, and this is typically for the class of Malacostraca. But an important difference is that they only have five segments in their anterior area, not like Cherisserata, which have seven. So crustaceans have these five segments, two pairs of antennae, one pair of mandibles, and two pairs of maxillae. And their walking legs, as you can see, are not attached to the front part, they are attached to the thorax, the second part. So in short, compared to the crustaceans, Chelicerata have seven segments instead of five, no antennae, Chelicerae instead of mandibles, pedipalps instead of maxillae, and all legs are attached to the anterior part, which is the prosoma. Now let's apply this knowledge we just learned to the horseshoe crab. First, the body part. It clearly has a prosoma and an ophistosoma with no legs. Next, we're looking at the four pairs of walking legs on the prosoma. But it seems like there are five, right? That's because the second pair of appendages, the pedipalps, look almost like the walking legs. In scorpions or spiders, the pedipalps are usually specialized for grasping and sensory tasks. But especially in female horseshoe crabs, they are used for walking and look like regular legs. In males, however, the pedipalps have special hooks used to hold onto the female during mating. So they are mainly used for walking, but they also have other tasks. And lastly, the group defining feature, as you all know, the chelicerae. And yeah, you already spotted them, very good. They're very small, but they're just in front of the mouth. Perfect, so now you can confidently explain why the horseshoe crab isn't a crustacean and why it is a chelicerata.
And if you are into marine creatures, check out the exciting video on the left. It's all about fish species that switch between salt and fresh water. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.